Today I'm going to introduce you to Miter Set. Miter Set is a precision jig used to turn any standard miter gauge for your table saw into a precision layout instrument. There's Miter Set Standard and there's Miter Set Segment. Miter Set is an aluminum anodized and laser etched plate that's bisected by a miter slot. Each side has a series of holes. Miter Set Standard is set up in five degree increments which allows you to set your miter gauge for cutting from zero up to 52 and a half degrees for perfect miter joints. Miter Set Segment is set up with the number of segments required for gluing up perfect 360 degree projects. For example, if you have a glue up project that requires 10 segments, you place your pin in the number 10, set your gauge, and that will yield 10 perfect segments for 360 degree glue up. Miter Set Standard is used to set your standard miter gauge in increments of either five degrees, or when using the associated detent bar in half degree increments. So you can set angles from half a degree up to 52 and a half degrees depending on how you use the detent bar. Let me show you how it works. I've got the miter gauge from my table saw and it really doesn't matter how accurate I have the protractor set because I know when I put my miter gauge into the miter slot and I press the face of the gauge firmly against the two tapered pins that now I have a perfect 90 degree angle. Now let's say I wanted to set 45, I just take one of the pins and put it up in the sector for a left hand cut and now I just move the face of the gauge up and I lock it down and now I have a perfect 45 degree angle. Let's take a 22 and a half degree angle. So what I do is I take my pin and I put it in the 20 degree hole. Now I take the detent bar that comes with the miter set standard and you can see that this has notches in it from half a degree up to two and a half degrees over here. So what I can do is place the flat edge against the zero pin and then recess my angle two and a half degrees against the sector pin and simply move the face into position and lock it down. 20 plus two and a half degrees of recess is a 22 and a half degree angle. It's that easy. Now miter set segments is set up a little differently. This one is set up with the math already applied to the plate. Let me show you how easy it is to create a seven segment project. Now, anyone who's created a seven segment project knows how difficult it is to set the angle, which is 25.714 degrees. But with miter set, it's very easy. I simply take one pin and I place it in the seven segment slot and I slide my miter gauge up to the face and I lock it down and now I'm gonna have seven perfect segments that when glued together are gonna to yield 360 degrees with no gaps and no sanding required. Let me show you how that works over at the table saw. I've added a fence extension to my miter gauge so I can have better control while making my cuts. Once I get all seven segments cut, I'm going to place the segments joint to joint on a piece of masking tape. Masking tape is a great way to keep even the smallest segments in place during layout. As I made the cuts, I took care to place the segments in the order that I had cut them. And as I place them on the tape, I make sure that the segments are laid out in order. This material is common pine I purchased from a big box store. It has not been jointed or planed, and it had a good deal of crown along its eight foot length. This will be a good test of miter set's accuracy. The masking tape makes it easy to roll my layout into a full 360 degree component for my glue up project. I can already tell that I'm getting good results. These joints are going together tightly.
great results with no gaps, no sanding, and no wasted material.